Jane. Everyone loves her. Jane players are horny jail prisoners. You telling me you pulled her for gameplay reasons? Nice try. Men, women, your grandma. It's hard to hate Jane. And she has a voice that can kill. I probably wouldn't play Jane around my grandma, though. Jane is, without a doubt, the second best character ever designed by Hoyo. Uh, notice how I said second, I'll get to first later. She's also one of the strongest characters released in ZZZ, dethroning Grace from her top spot. <laughs> it's okay Grace, I still love you. She's centered around dodging the whole time, so you can simply stand still and just dodge every single attack that comes towards you. Effectively letting you play Jane with one hand, and what you do with the other hand is, well, that's up for you to decide. Jane comes in swinging with her thighs, and if you're a fan of her, then of course you have amazing taste. About time Hoyo started making more thigh characters, and that's what I love about ZZZ so much. Those who favorite Jane are the most down bad people of all time, let's be honest here, but there's nothing wrong with that because I'm with you guys. Be proud of being the rat lovers you are, just so long as it's with Jane, you know, not real rats, because that's gonna be concerning. Caesar fans are weak people who want a tough and strong woman. It's okay, me too. Caesar, oh man, Caesar. Her introduction in Chapter 4 story, her cute piano trailer, she's got all the cool tough girl qualities with some heart too. And I'm not gonna lie, I even pulled through Caesar just so I can walk around town with her. She's just that cool. Caesar enjoyers are based people. The only thing that bothers me though is the fact that her name is Caesar. I can't help but think about the old Roman guy. Her parrying gameplay style is too addictive. And out of all the other defense characters we have, she's easily a must pull with all of her buffs and shields to give out. With Caesar being released right before Bernice, I was a little bit skeptical on whether I would get her or whether she'd be a good character or not. But for the Caesar believers, they knew right away that she was going to be a good character, and I am sorry for doubting you guys. I am so sorry. Oh me, Yabi. She is never coming out in this game. You are living in complete denial. Pathetic. Move on with your life. You have a better chance of getting a girlfriend in real life before she's released. In fact, who will be released first, Miyabi or Dainsleaf? Lighter has a better chance of being released before Miyabi. <laughs> oh wait, what? Lighter's almost out apparently? Oh, uh... Well, my point still stands. Only delusional people want Miyabi. And that's me, I'm delusional. The second I hear she's coming out, I'm gonna empty my whole bank for her. Until then, I'll just keep imagining what it's like to have her on my account. <sighs> Ching Yi is for the blind, and no, this isn't because you lack the vision to see other cooler characters. Her attacks are so aggressively flashy that it hurts my eyes to play her, and I didn't actually wear glasses until I started playing her. Ching Yi is for people who love playing high-paced action games like DMC or Metal Gear Rising. Wait a second. Android robot person with an affinity to lightning? This sounds way too familiar. But neither of those games will ever get a sequel, so we're stuck here using Ching Yi. Also, I love how laid back she is. Like, who brings a whole tea set to a meeting? People who also enjoy Ching Yi are a bunch of weebs. Did you know she has Neon Genesis on her shorts? Yeah, because of that, now you're a weeb. I'm sorry. Get in the robot, guys. The big one, not, not Ching Yi. Ju Yuan. Now this is the number one best character design in all of the Hoyo-verse games. I don't care what Hoyo game you've played because nothing else will come close to her design. Kafka? No. March 7th? Nah. -uh. Eula? Wait, I actually love Eula's design, so... Ju Yu Wan is for the people with exceptional taste. The Shadow the Hedgehog hair, her kung fu moves... Even her personality is so lovable. The hardworking and dedicated cop that's balanced out by how dorky and awkward she is outside of work. And she's also tall, and I don't know about you guys, but people who enjoy tall women like I do are based. If she's your favorite character in ZZZ, then you have the best taste possible. I knew from the beta that she was going to be my favorite character... Well, next to Billy, of course. The game opening up with both her banner and Ellen's easily locked me into the game. For the other gotcha developers out there, this is how you win people over. Show them tough women and we fold instantly. And speaking of which... Ah, yes, Ellen. This is, of course, for all the tomboy enjoyers. Ellen's genius design of being the shark tomboy girl set her on the path of becoming Hoyo's most popular character of all time. Don't believe me? Well, she did surpass Zhongli for most viewed characters 
character trailer of all time in the Hoyo games, and no one else has came close to her yet. Ellen has this cool and tough side to her, but also has a soft side when talking with people she cares about, like her friends or family. And, uh, excuse me, I got a tear in my eye, but that's the kind of character we love to see. Those who love Ellen are clearly the best kinds of people. And if you weren't there during launch or didn't pull her, then I am praying for you when she returns because she's actually one of the most fun characters to play. And even if you happen to get her, I hope you have enough pulls for other characters because there's honestly so many great characters being released by this game. Characters like Grace, Feet Enjoyer. You're a dirty feet sweat enjoyer. You're a sick person and you know what? Me too. I love Grace so much, but it's clear that she hates me because she keeps evading my account. I'm surprised I actually dodged Nekomata too. I hope I didn't jinx myself. To my feed enjoyers, I wish you all luck if you're trying to pull for her like me. Grace has a simple design. Human woman with nothing too crazy going on. But we love her for that, and not just for her feet. For those who do have Grace, Screw you, because I really want her so badly right now. You'll have to always remember that Grace will always choose robots over you, so if you can deal with that, good luck. Soldier 11. Her fans are people who liked Ambi so much that they wanted to play her as a DPS. Oh, and she has fire. Neat. You've chosen the hardest character to love. You're officially one of the bravest ZZZ players out there. From what I've seen, Soldier 11 barely has any love. I don't see many cosplays, I don't hear too many people wanting to get her, and it's sad because I'm actually a huge fan of her when I started the game. Her gameplay does take a bit of getting used to. You unfortunately cannot run into your enemies and just spam your attack button. You have to attack in a certain pattern or else your damage will be no better than a full DPS Ching Yi. Yeah, don't attempt that build. I've done it once and I... Highly regret it. I just want more love for Soldier 11. She's got a cool design and some lore that definitely needs some more exploring. Her connection to Ambi is still up in the air, and I really want to know what the heck is going on between them. And also, one of the saddest parts about Soldier 11 is the fact that she's pretty much alone right now in the game. Yes, we know she has a partner trigger out there somewhere in the game, and maybe there'll be a character in the future. As of making this video, there are no other playable Obel Squad units, so Soldier 11 sits alone in her corner of the game. Nekomata. Well, it's really hard to judge a Nekomata enjoyer because they don't exist. Anyone who has Nekomata has only gotten her because it was against their will. I haven't met a single person who wanted to get her, actually. <laughs> I will say she has a cute design, but I'm out here for the woman character, not cuteness. With poles basically costing money, I'm not out here trying to waste poles on people I don't exactly prioritize. If I wanted a physical dodge unit, I would've just gone with the better version that is Jane. For Nekomata mains, you're only a main for her because you're unlucky, so you guys are the unluckiest players in the world. Rena fans clearly enjoy having nothing. For anyone who's chosen Rena to be their favorite character, I'm very surprised. She's a very attractive character with a unique ghost made design, but the part that I'm so surprised by is the fact that she's super underrated. Your taste in women must be great and rare because for some odd reason, I don't see much love for Rena at all. What's wild to me also is the fact that she's rated lower than other supports in the game that are, you know, a different rarity than her. So pretty much if you only really want Rena at this point, it's because you really like her design. And to that, I salute you because trying to get her through the normal signal pulling thing is, uh, rough. Lycon, the big father himself. Now, let's be honest here, it doesn't matter if you're a girl, or a guy, or not furry, everybody wants him. He is still one of the best stun units in the game, and honestly one of the coolest characters to ever existed in video game history. Listen, after I started playing him, I became gay. I've known people who have a grudge against Hoyo games who came in because Lycon was a pole. I've known countless women who wanted him and only him, and when they didn't get him, they blew up. Needless to say, Lycon is perhaps one of the most sought after characters, not just for gameplay reasons. And did you guys know that Lycon has uh, <coughs> more art than Rena? I'm telling you guys, I feel so bad for Rena. If you like Lycon, then you're a furry, plain and simple, but there's nothing wrong with that, so embrace it you dirty furry. Coletta enjoyers are simply rat enjoyers, but in a way that's different from Jean. When I look at Coletta, she reminds me of a feisty little rat. I, I don't know why exactly, it it's just the way it is, I guess. She's kind of funny though, I really like her design. She's this loud, angry, small character who has synergy with Ben and also a special animation if they're on the same team together. So I really like stuff like that. Also, can we appreciate the fact that she's the CEO of a large corporation at a young age? We stand our women in power. Let's go! women. Seth, ah, oh, this one's so easy. This is for the twink enjoyers. But even if you're not a twink enjoyer, it's really hard to hate this guy. He plays by the book, he's a hardworking newbie who just wants to try his best. Unlike some lazy
crazy tea drinkers out there. Not only that, but he's also for the Monster Hunter players. Imagine taking inspiration from the infamous Charge Blade weapon. I will admit, though, Seth's playstyle is kind of clunky, but I still like the guy regardless. But man, do I want to play Monster Hunter Wilds now. Ugh. Piper and Lucy, um, I'll be real, I don't really have much to say about either of them. They're both cute characters, and if you like them, uh, that's cool. That's all I got, sorry. <laughs> Corin, now you have great taste, and Corin needs to be protected. She's small, and she's baby. There's also a trust event where you have to protect her from these guys. Oh, she just needs to be protected so much. But when she needs to protect you, though, she does a lot of damage. I actually have my sister maining her, and I see the damage she can put out. It's a lot. So protect baby, and she'll protect you. Anton and Joyers have basic bitch taste. Okay, so this is kind of crazy. Out of all the options we have in this game, you chose to like the only male human character in the game? You weren't swayed by Lycon or the big bear Ben? You're either really into normal people or your taste in men is as spicy as mayo. Okay, but jokes aside though, I actually really like Anton. I played him during the beta and if I wasn't putting so much time into Billy, he'd actually be one of my mains right now. I love him and his bro. He's got energy and he's so fun. Don't let the ZZZ players bully you because you like a normal guy. Ignore them and walk with your head held high because he's a cool character to like. You love big bears. No, not the big burly guys. Okay, if Ben is not even your top favorite, he's gotta be in the top of your list somewhere at least, right? The big scary looking accountant who is nothing but lovable? I knew the second I saw Ben, he was gonna be peak. Instead of being scary and tough, he was adorable. If you are a fellow Ben enjoyer, then you have base taste, but for some odd reason, if you hate Ben, then delete your account. Go to hell. So Kaku enjoyers are those who pulled a little too much on Ellen's banner and didn't get Ellen, but instead you have six Sokaku copies sitting right there. And then you realize, wait a second, once you, you know, read her kit, she's actually kind of cracked? She gets a crazy damage buff that just instantly makes any team strong, and if you have an ice team, Oh my god! Once again, she and other A ranks are ranked higher than Rina to show that there are really strong support characters that are better than Rina. I'm so sorry, Rina. So Kaku Enjoyers are absolutely based people, and she's actually one of my favorite characters to use in most of my teams. Now, uh, if only you guys can give us the rest of Section 6 so she's not alone anymore, that'd be nice. And B players are broke bitches. You didn't get Lycon or even Coletto? Well, have fun using Ambi until your next poll session. In reality, it's actually okay because Ambi is an extremely reliable stun unit. So even if you happen to get the other stun units, she's still really useful. But until you have the extra money for some pulls, you're gonna be basically broke and using Ambi for a long, long time. And she does get kind of stale to use. Before getting Soldier 11, I was pretending Ambi was her. And yeah, I was having a rough time. If you like Nicole, you like broke bitches. And I mean that respectfully. First off, Nicole has no business being a free a rank character, and with her being a support character rather than a DPS, she'll basically be around your teams for a long while, making her pretty viable in most team comps. I don't think I've ever played a gacha game where I ended up loving the non-premium units as much as I like getting the higher ranked ones. And when you get to know her lore, and how she lost her friend and what drove her to be so money hungry, oh. Heartbreaking. Nicole is yet again another example of a character in ZZZ that has layers to them. She's not just simply designed to be a pretty girl who likes money. She's a goddamn queen and throw her some respect. But she's a broke queen though, so you know, can't can't forget about that. Speaking of queens, here's the number one character of all time. Billy, the top tier waifu of the game. I love this guy so much, and I bet some of you guys could probably tell, of course. Billy is one fun character in and out of battles. He's got humor and a really cool cyborg design. I really can't imagine anyone hating Billy, and I'm glad he's a mainstay in the story because we get to see a lot more of him. For those who have him on your list of favorite characters, excellent choice. And if you don't, I hope you roll Nekomata.